All right, so this is going to be a quick look inside this HP Omen 30L desktop PC. Full model number is GT13-0380T. All right, so first things first, you want to open it up. There's this button here, so when you push on this, you have to push it somewhat hard. Basically, the case will pop up. It helps to have this actually standing right side up, but we're going to do it this way. Okay, so you can lift this up, and then you can slide it out. Okay, and here you can see what the internals look like. All right, we did change this to a Noctua fan. Um, actually, this isn't going to be very accurate of a video because the customer had the motherboard replaced. So this actually has um, an Asus Tough Gaming motherboard in here. But basically everything is very similar on all desktops. So what I'm going to be showing is actually what's, um, what do you call, specific to this model. Okay, so if you need to replace the fan or the cooler heatsink, um, the pump here, the radiator. So to get in here, because you can see these screws down here are blocked, you can't get to them unless you can take this out. So you don't need to remove this top panel. What you actually have to do is there's a screw right here, okay, on the side there, and a screw right there. And you can remove that those two screws with a PH2 or JIS2 screwdriver, okay? Once you remove those two screws, you can actually pull this slightly forward and then lift it up. These um, tubings are a little bit firm, so it makes it a little bit difficult. But that's how you would get it out. Excuse me. And then also make sure that you disconnect the fan cable down here or wherever it's connected. Again, this motherboard is not the original from this HP Omen. So I'm just kind of explaining how you would do the things that are specific to like this setup. All right, then if you want to remove the front plate and that fan in there, there's a screw on the bottom here, okay? So you can remove this screw here. And once you remove that screw, you can actually pull this panel out. So I have to use my fingernails here, and then basically I would just pop it out just like that. And it kind of slides up there, so it comes out like that. You can see it has these little feet here that wedge up in there to hold it in place and that's how you get the front plate off okay to get these screws out you need a small phillips screwdriver that you can fit through these holes okay um, the screws actually use like a ph2 but i was able to luckily get them out with a small ph0 screwdriver um, but you want to make sure that the screwdriver doesn't slip so you don't strip out the screw the top of it Otherwise, you're never going to be able to get those screws out. Okay. Um, all right. So to put this back, obviously, you just slide it back up in place, line it up, and then click it back in. Oops. As you can see, I didn't slide it in right, and then that happens. So you want to make sure that this gets slid in all the way up there. Okay. And then get that in. It's hard to do this with one hand. Um, and also, I think it doesn't work too well on its side. So let me actually lift it up this way. And then we'll try this again. So get that up there. Yeah, it's hard to do this with one hand because you have to be sliding it up as you push it in. There we go. Okay, so we got that in. We're gonna slowly lower this back down. That's all back in place. We're gonna get this screw back in. Okay. And then of course the front plate. Whoa to put this back on. After they changed the motherboard, the fan was like really noisy and it kept like pulsating. It was like going loud and quiet and loud and quiet. So we changed it to one of these Noctua fans, which are much quieter. Um, it doesn't actually need these rubber pieces. So I don't know, I should probably take them out. Yeah, it doesn't need those. So we're gonna take them out. So it doesn't have that brown look there and it's all one color. But we did put the big um, rubber gasket on the outside there. Okay, so now we're just going to put this back on. It does have this to catch right here in between the PSU and the front. So get that in there like that. Make sure the side the sides here lines up to slot into here. Okay, then you just close it by pushing it back in. 
and there we go that's pretty much it hopefully this video helped you guys out at least um, to know how to get that heatsink out if you need to replace the CPU uh, cooler or anything like that and if you need to change that fan there everything else is basically the same as any other desktop so I don't really need to show that if you need to know how to remove RAM from desktops or the GPU and things like that um, I do have other videos where I show that and that's pretty much it thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one bye